Hey everyone, the last few years have been less than ideal for Alibaba stock and Alibaba stock investors. But the next few years I think could be better. In fact, I'm going to answer where I think Alibaba stock price could end up five years from now. So let's take a look at this interesting company and forecast where I think the stock price could be. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, so one of the numbers I'm going to need for this forecast is Alibaba's current share price. And as of this recording, $69 per share. And I highlighted the last few years have not been great for Alibaba. Its stock price is down from close to $300 or $250 per share all the way down to $69 per share. Certainly disappointing Alibaba stock investors. Now, I've had Alibaba stock rated as one of my top stocks to buy in 2024, and that performance has not been great. Year to date, the stock price started the year at around $78 per share, and it's now at $69 per share. So it's down roughly $10 per share. One of the worst performing stocks on my list of top 24, top 25, I should say, stocks to buy in 2024. Still, I have it rated on my list. I have not taken it off my list. I think the company is significantly undervalued, and I think there's some room for upside here. Speaking about undervaluation, the next thing I need for my stock price prediction is Alibaba's forward PE ratio. As of this recording, 7.224. And you can see here, Alibaba's stock is the cheapest it's been going all the way back to 2020. 7.224 forward PE ratio is the cheapest investors have been able to buy Alibaba stock. Now, there's reasons for this cheaper valuation, geopolitical risks coupled with the slowing, decelerating growth for Alibaba and very, very small earnings per share forecast for Alibaba over the next few years. Let me share those with you here. So for 2025, the analysts on Wall Street that are following Alibaba stock, they expect the company to deliver $8.52 in earnings per share in 2025, down from $8.66 in the prior year. So a earnings per share year over year decrease expected for Alibaba in 2025. Over the next five years, the analysts on Wall Street that are following Alibaba stock, they expect it to deliver a meager 1.4% earnings per share growth in the next five years. Now in the previous five years, Alibaba's earnings per share growth came in at 6.01% suggesting that these 1.4% forecasts might be a bit too low, might be conservative. In my opinion, they are a bit too low, but I'm gonna use Wall Street's forecast for making this stock price prediction, and I'm gonna adjust my valuation multiple upward to account for the fact that I think the valuation is going to improve over the next five years. All right, so now that we've got the numbers we can continue with our stock price prediction. So I'm gonna draw your attention first to the earnings per share forecast. So if the company does deliver $8.52 in earnings per share in 2025, and I apply the 1.4% growth rate that Wall Street expects from Alibaba, I get an earnings per share estimate for 2030 of $9.13. So remember, when I'm making the forecast for five years from now, I'm looking at the year 2029. And if I'm forecasting using the forward PE ratio for 2029, I need the earnings per share estimate for 2030. That's why I made that forecast for earnings per share first before I applied the multiple. So now let me draw your attention to the valuation estimate. If the company's earnings per share does progress towards $9.13 and the valuation multiple stays the same, then the stock price could be $65.94 in 2029. So that would actually be flat to down a couple of dollars in five years. That would certainly not please Alibaba stock investors. But I don't think the multiple is going to stay at these record low levels for Alibaba. 
I think the forward PE multiple is going to rise. And if it rises to 10, the stock price could increase to $91 per share, up from around $69 today. So a, a solid increase, but nothing great. If the stock valuation multiple were to increase to 12, then the stock price could rise to $109.60 per share. Much better increase, roughly 50% increase over five years. And if the forward PE multiple were to rise to 14, then the stock price could rise to $127.87, a much better forecast to be sure. So I think my base case for where the stock price ends 2029 is with the higher valuation multiple and a stock price in the range between $125 per share and $135 per share roughly double where it is today or less than double i should say 69 dollars double would be 140 dollars or close to 140 so a little bit below double where the stock price is today and the catalyst for this growth is for me going to be better earnings per share estimates at that point in time so from this point over the next five years Alibaba's earnings per share forecast don't look great. But over the next few years, I suspect that its earnings per share forecast will look better. I think the Chinese economy will have rebounded from the sluggishness it's currently going through. The Chinese economy, remember, didn't have as much stimulus as other economies did coming out of the pandemic or going into the pandemic. And so it's having a harder time with the economic reopening it's not gaining that kind of rebound that most other economies did when they reopened from the pandemic. It's recovering much more slowly than I anticipated and many on Wall Street anticipated. And so that recovery is gonna be slower, but I suspect like not, not this year. This year, I, I think the economy is gonna be continuously in its trouble. The property market consumption behavior is very weak in china and next year it could be a little bit better and then the following year i in 2026 i suspect stronger growth and it's not just because of local consumption but consumer behavior worldwide has shifted and that's hurt china's export business right china china relies so much on export and since the export business has not been doing so well that's weighed down on consumer sentiment and consumer spending locally. Now, if I suspect when the consumer behavior rebalances, remember people have been spending a lot more money on services and China exports goods. So when people are spending more money on services, that's weighing down on its export business even more, not to mention the geopolitical tensions and countries worldwide trying to nearshore or onshore some of their supply chains so all of that is weighing on china and consumers are you know reacting to that they're saying let me save a little bit more money let me prepare for some of these hard times that we're going to face next year and this year and so as the consumer behavior worldwide rebalances normalizes back to a a regular percentage goods versus services that'll help the chinese economy and that'll help companies like alibaba because local consumption will increase and alibaba depends significantly on local consumption so for those reasons i think the valuation multiple will trend higher over these next few years and alibaba stock price will end at roughly 130 dollars at the midpoint five years from now Thank you for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. I know there's a lot you could be doing with your time and a lot of other videos you could be watching. So I truly appreciate that you chose to watch this one. If you want to see more videos just like this, hit the subscribe or the like button. They'll both help me make more videos just like this one. Thank you again.